Everybody, it's Chris from Prepare Mind 101. Finally got a chance to get outside. It's not particularly warm, but at least it's sunny. So I wanted to get out here and get uh, this blade on some wood on camera because, for those of you that may not know, the JX Omega is up right now in the pre-orders. DLT trading. Should be shipping sometime next week, I think. So, yeah, we waited a long time for this blade. It's been, what, four years since I first brought it up. So, I'm going to test this bad boy out. And they've got, out of the 300 ordered, they're coming, I believe, in spurts of 100. So, jump on it if you want to get one, because people have already been pre-ordering it. And then the next couple waves will be coming. So if you want to check this thing out, find out what it's all about, don't go away. All right, so quick rundown. It's the new factory sheath. Big improvement from the prototype originally showed. We're still going with the the mouse clips on the back. Uh, this size knife, I always saw it as going on a pack or a small side pack. I have many, many times worn this on my belt, and that might seem weird. I thought it would be weird, but honestly, I was like, wow, I don't even really notice it's there. It, some people may not like it that way. But it was nice to be able to like just have this large do-everything knife on my belt. It's not swinging all over the place. And when it's there, it's like I almost did not notice the weight. So there's always going to be that guy who somehow has missed all the knives I've made in the last, I don't know how many years since the Schrade SCH43, a.k.a. Jess X, where I first introduced the my multi-position handle concept. People that haven't seen it before, they're like, oh, why is that handle so long? That looks, it's there for a reason. Um, when I made the Jess X, I said, you know, there's, we've all done everything that can be done with the blade. What if we go the other direction and start seeing what we can do with the handle? So I had this vision where a handle was long enough that it would counterbalance but also each hand position would allow different functionality with comfort so this is not the heavy chopper and even the heavy chopper is not that it's a, it's a little bit bigger than this but you know where the angles and the weight is is, is different with the JXV or the old JX5 this is close to the size of the JX5 but uh, I never had one like this. It was kind of more of almost a, a larger combat style blade that was, I, mean, I don't remember the specs off the top of my head. Uh, it's eight some inches here. I'll have it on the screen. But with the longer handle, the different positions allow me to do the different tasks with varying degrees of comfort. Plus, if you just had a regular large bladed knife and a regular size handle, you're not going to have the leverage or power of chopping like you do in the rear position with this or even back here. And then when with a with a large survival knife uh, style knife, people generally limit to things like batoning and chopping where as with this one, if this was all that I had, in the forward position, the handle counterbalances the blade, giving it a, a neutral balance point. And then I can sit here and comfortably make feather sticks and do other types of fine tasks. Now granted, that's, that's playing the what-if game. Generally speaking, I'm always going to have... A knife made for those kind of tasks so like today since I'm out in the woods that's actually another DLT exclusive 
That's an LT Wright uh, Jess McC. It's the smaller, more compact stainless version of the Jessmic. So with those two together, yeah, I can do pretty much anything that I need to do. But we're here to look at the Omega. So let's take a look at it. All right, just using what's laying around dead here. So we're first gonna do some rear position chopping with this. Not bad considering that's not the chopper blade, <laughs> the JXV is, but I made this to be nearly as good as that. So we need to get down a couple other smaller pieces so I can do some batoning with this. Tining is another one of those tasks that the multi-position handle comes in really handy because you're just able to get further out of the way when you're doing that task. Grind angles work perfectly. As they always do. With this, light, light craft chopping, like making tent steaks and stuff, it's gonna be a piece of cake. I'm gonna change my hand position here. Slice is awesome, especially with with all that that edge real estate I can't see okay sunlight and view screens don't always cooperate so when I want to do my my small knife work I'm gonna choke up here Get excited, keep your feathers. Edge is fantastic. It's not wearing me out like it would if I was forced to do this with a big blade and a regular size handle. Because that back end is counterbalancing it, just like previous multi-position handle knives I've done. This SK85 carbon steel that they use. Now you probably notice if you've been following the work tough gears, that's what you usually see on their big stuff that's getting all the hard use videos on YouTube. And I'm not saying it's exact match, you know, from a metallurgical standpoint, but just to give you something to compare it to, I'd say it's more like a improved, like Japanese 
1080, 1085, uh, close around there. So it's going to have the toughness that you that you got used to with the original Jessica X, and you remember all the crazy abuse videos that we did with that. But this has got better edge retention and ease of sharpening than that, uh, that old Schrade 1070 had. It's not that uncomfortable at all for doing that with a large knife. I'm able to get the finesse in there, a little fine feathers. Nice. Does have a nice sharp spine. So get some fluff in there. Now this is by no means a proper tinder bundle that you can brag to your bushcraft friends about. We're just doing some knife testing. So the next obvious thing is going to be how the spine works with a ferro rod. And everything feels pretty dry so I'm hoping this will light without any kind of help. wants to go. Come on wind, help me out for once. Yeah, no 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 cheat, cheating fire starters, although they were on standby. Cuz I just like burning stuff. So that was just wood I got off the ground. This knife and a ferro rod. See how the spine is For a factory knife, I would say these work. A lot of these work tough gear knives on uh, sharpness of the spine for utility. About as close as you can get to LT Wright. <laughs> I mean, L LT Wright is like the undisputed champion of sharp spines, but these are damn close when it comes to a out of the box survival type knife. So you can use that. Uh, do all sorts of things. Very capable, very utilitarian knife that is going to allow you to do a lot of stuff that you need in the woods without having to carry a lot of extra gear. I don't see care axes are just a thing people are always going to argue about. I'm not felling giant trees. I'm not a lumberjack. I don't live in Canada and have a red and black plaid shirt. Most stuff I usually chop is about like that. Small trees, uh, deadfall, just stuff that I'm going to use for firewood. And it's just easier and more controllable with something like this. <clears throat> Very slicey blade. Even with it being a bigger knife Did that not so small medium large tasks 
JX Omega made to do it all. Freaking love this knife. It just took so long to come to fruition. All right, so just for some size comparison, got the prototype here of the next one coming later, which is the JXV, which is the redesigned. Come on, get on there. <laughs> the redesigned JX5, and <laughs> if that's not big enough for you. This one ain't mine. The Puton Predator Hunter. <laughs> oh, that thing is so crazy. That's a, that is a BFK. If there ever was one. But yeah, I just wanted to get those in the shot there as well. Hopefully around summer. You can see the JXVs. Uh, they'll also be DLT exclusive. Uh, they'll have a couple other finish options, and we may do other finishes with the the next run of the JX Omegas. But for now, they're all going to be like that. So yeah, I am super, super, super happy with the Work Tough Gear knives, especially the ones they've done for me. Super excited and more at a price point that most people uh, can handle around I want to say it was 209 or 219 one of the two I forget uh, for the JX Omega so there you go folks at long last the knife I've been waiting a long time to have made to come to fruition the JX Omega available now at exclusively at DLT trading so links to that are going to be in the description box below. All right, guys, Christian from Bear Mind 101. Thanks for watching. Be sure to click like, share, and subscribe. Be back with another video here soon. So see you then.